hello everyone how are you all i hope you all are doing well so i welcome you again to your english class and today we'll do question answers and back exercises of chapter number 2 of your english book that is ubuntu and i have made a separate video in which i have explained this chapter in detail and if you have not seen that video you can check the link in the description box so let's get started and first of all we will do back exercises of this chapter and the first exercise is multiple choice questions on page number 15 so here uh, three options are given for each question and you have to tick the correct answer in each all right so look at the question number 1 the man purchased candies as they looked the options are beautiful tempting or sweet and tasty so the correct answer is tempting the man purchased candies as they looked tempting okay tempting means something that is attractive and makes people want to have it or eat it all right now look at the question number 2 the man decided to play a game with the options are the children his friends or the people so uh, what is the correct answer the man decided to play a game with the children yes so the option a is the correct answer Look at the last question now. What did the man do before he called the children to play a game? The options are: he tied the basket of candies with a blue ribbon, he tied the candies in a blue satin cloth, or he tied the basket of candies with a red ribbon. So, I hope you all remember that the man tied the basket of candies with a red ribbon. So, the correct option here is C. So now we will do the next exercise on the same page that is complete the given sentences. So the first blank is the man was studying the what was he studying he was studying the habits and customs of a tribe in Africa. All right. The second blank is the children played in dash the children played in close cooperation with each other. Look at the third blank now the man took the basket of candies dash the man took the basket of candies and tied it with a red ribbon look at the last blank now the man put the basket under dash the man put the basket under the tree all right so these are the only two exercises that we will do in this chapter so now we will do difficult words word meaning sentences question answers and uh, reference to context of this chapter so let's start with uh, difficult words first of all so these are the 20 difficult words that you have to write in your copies first of all so first word is uh, anthropologist second is customs surrounding villagers illiterate schedule tempted beautifully cooperation together entered smiled crowded peeped drawing nodded happened teamwork realized happiness so these were the difficult words that you have to write first of all and now we will do word meanings and as you all know that we do five word meanings from the chapter so the first word is unites it's a verb which means joins together the next word is kind it's an adjective which means helpful and caring the next word is together it's also an adjective which means with each other the fourth word is powerful it's also an adjective which means having great power and the last word is shared which is a verb and it means divided something between two or more people so now let's make sentences of these five words so the first word is unites and the sentence is a bond of humanity unites the entire world the next word is kind he is a kind and cooperative person the next word is together the sentence is they went together to the party the fourth word is powerful the sentence is he is the most powerful man in the city and the last word is shared the sentence is rohan shared his lunch with his friends all right so now we will do five two marks question answers and the question number 1 is why did the man come to africa and the answer is the man came to africa to study the customs and habits of a tribe there he chose a village located near a hill for that 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज वॉट डिड द मैन फाइंड अबाउट द विलेजर्स द आंसर इज द मैन फाउंड दैट द विलेजर्स वर इलिटरेट एंड न्यू नथिंग अबाउट एजुकेशन दे लिव अ सिंपल लाइफ एंड वर काइंड टू ऑल क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज वाई डिड ऑल द चिल्ड्रन रन टूगेदर टूवर्ड्स द बास्केट एंड द आंसर इज ऑल द चिल्ड्रन रन टूगेदर टूवर्ड्स द बास्केट बिकॉज द फर्स्ट टू रीच द बास्केट वुड विन द कैंडीज In this way they all were the winners and shared the candies. Question number 4 is what lesson did the children teach the man? The answer is the children taught the man that we cannot be happy when one of us is sad. We should always share things and work together in cooperation. The last question is what do you mean by Ubuntu? What did the man realize? Ubuntu is a powerful naguni bantu term that means human kindness for all. The man realized that Ubuntu was not just for the people of Africa but for all of us. So now we will do two reference to context and the first reference is how could one of us be happy when the others are sad? And the question number 1 is who said these words to whom? The answer is a child said these words to the man question number 2 is how did the listener feel after hearing this statement the answer is the listener was touched after hearing this statement and the question number 3 is what did the listener realize by the above statement the answer is the listener realized that ubuntu was not just for the people of africa but for all of us now the second reference to context is now i will put this basket under that tree and the question number 1 is who is the speaker the man is the speaker the next question is who is the listener the answer is the children are the listeners and the last question is from which chapter has the above line been taken the above line has been taken from the chapter ubuntu so these were the difficult words word meanings sentences question answers and reference to contexts and you all have to write this in your fair notebook in a neat and clean handwriting all right so this is all for today and we'll meet once again in a new video with a new topic till then take care all of you stay home stay safe thank you so much for watching